2013 uh, Glen Helen 24 hour race. Out here at Glen Helen, uh, we started out pretty good. We were in second, then we had a little brake issue. Um, cost us seven minutes in the pit, and the whole 24 hours we were chasing, and you know, down to three minutes, back up to five minutes, back and forth, back and forth. There was I, right behind you, let her land, I'm looking at my feet, walking on water, it's amazing. We finally got in the lead this morning around, I don't know, 7, and uh, rode smart and brought it home for the win. You know, this race is a great event to uh, prepare us for Baja. Baja's in, I don't know, three weeks or so, and it's a great endurance race. It gets you in shape. It gets a test where you're at, um, puts you in a nice situation where you're riding, where you don't get, you know, practicing isn't much like racing so it puts you in that kind of mind frame and out here in the elements to get you ready for the thousand which is um, the ultimate goal for us and most important so uh, it's always great to come out here have good competition and put put the bike and our bodies through the test. We used the 24-hour for uh, a lot of testing for the Baja 1000. The Baja 1000 is obviously the biggest race of the year for us, and we just kind of acclimate ourselves to the nighttime racing, and then also pit crews. It, it uh, perfects pit crews, and and then just puts racing time on your body and uh, prepares you for a long time on the bike in Baja. This year, Timmy Wagon's ride of record, but I, I always usually start the race out of Ensenada because I'm, I'm most uh, familiar with the race course, and uh, yeah, I feel pretty confident in, in starting the race from Ensenada, and then, I don't know, at night it's going to be a whole, whole new game. When we start so close and the race isn't kind of uh, organized or kind of set in place, it's, it's tough because there's not very much passing going on at night, especially with headlights and so uh, qualifying is going to be huge. We're going to we're going to do qualifying and see if we can get a first place spot and uh, just have a real smooth, consistent race all the way down to when the sun comes up. And when the sun comes up, it's it's race time. I'm really excited about this year's Ball 1000. Um, you know, one we have a new course. Uh, we have. Uh, multiple areas where it's going to take a lot of planning logistics and I really like to learn new things and go out and and make our books and you know where our pits are going to be and just just learning knowledge and that challenge that's that's you know where I succeed and where my skill set lies. This year's Ball 1000 will be the series final for the score championship. It's coming down to the wire with two two different teams, our team and Brand X and we're going to be in a dogfight, you know, uh, whoever wins that race wins the championship, pretty much. We we have a little bit of a points cushion, but it's going to be it's going to be a real good fight. And I'm looking forward to the challenge. I'm looking forward to the competition. And I'm looking forward to winning. Oh, you are.